All right, good morning. Today on this episode of What Plant Is That, Paul? We're going to talk about aloe maculata, which I call the soap aloe. It's got a ton of different names, zebra aloe, a bunch of names in Africa like Botswani, and I can't remember them. But uh, I call this thing uh, aloe, I call it a zebra aloe or a soap aloe. Uh, apparently has medicinal purposes, but uh, honestly we have a lot of uh, dying oleanders. So there's a little bit there. Um, and so uh, to combat that, I'm just kind of putting some succulents when I can. So I put a crested aeonium here, it's really doing well. And a little bit of sticks on fire and uh, some different aloes. But today, this uh, soap aloe um, or the zebra aloe is beautiful. Some even people call it like a crocodile aloe. But aloe, uh, the soap aloe is beautiful. So flowers look like that, it's hardy. Uh, to about 25 degrees. Um, it's native to South Africa and it is a nice beautiful little uh, clumping plant. You can get uh, seeds off of it um, or it will provide little pups. So as you see here there's some nice little uh, babies that's popped out of the side there and this is a really good example. Sometimes the leaves will get burned back from the frost um, or excessive heat. Um, but not in this specimen. So we, I've gotten some of these about, I don't know, 10 years ago for free. And I've just kind of put them throughout the yard and I, they're just getting everywhere. So I totally dig them. They, they don't even really need much uh, water once established. Hardy to 25 degrees and just a beautiful little aloe. Um, and they grow really, really well in Southern California. I really like the different color, uh, and patterns there in the structure. However, the spines are, are on it. For an aloe, these are definitely on the more spiny side. So sharper teeth. So that is a drawback. Definitely really sharp, so you don't want to um, have your foot walk by and get them. They will get you. So, um, the little ankle biters here. Ta uh, growth is about one to two feet wide, one feet, t feet tall. And again, they'll just kind of spread out as you can see. So, um, man, I love these aloes. I mean, I like all the plants. But uh, give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. This is on the cool plant list. And uh, get yourself a couple of these. And if you want to have them multiply quick, in my opinion, this is one of the fastest aloes that will kind of produce little offspring off to the side. Um, or you could grow the seeds. So there you go. Cool plant for sure. Have a great day. All right. Take care. Bam. Dude, it's creepy.